Hello and welcome to another Geist tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at Geist's slicer. Now we've put a lot of work into the slicer to make it as easy to use as possible. There are two ways you can open a file in the slicer. The first is to click on a WAV or a recycle file with this slice button enabled and the second is from the sampler. Now we'll take a look at the sampler in a separate tutorial. All of Geist's factory loops come as recycle files so they are pre-sliced. If I click on one here You can see it's open in the slicer and all our slice points are already allocated for us. Now because I have auto load enabled in the browser, the slicer has done two things. It has automatically put each slice onto the pads and it has created a pattern for me which will play in the background which will trigger those slices in order to play back exactly as the loop should. Instead of opening a recycle file, let's load a WAV file. I'll just put my tempo down to roughly the same as these WAV files. Now we can see here that the slicer has inserted some slice points at major transients. However, it has also missed a few. I can preview a slice by simply clicking in the upper portion of the waveform window. The sensitivity knob here will allow us to adjust the thresholds at which the slicer will insert slice points. If the slicer has missed any, we can manually put them in by simply clicking in the title bar. There we go, our loop's completely sliced. Down here we can see that the slicer has guessed that the file is one bar long at 70 BPM. If you need to correct the slicer's guess, you can simply double click and enter a new BPM or a new number of bars. There are two basic slice modes, transient, which we're using at the moment, and divide, which will divide the file up into even divisions based on this number here. I'm going to stick to transient for now. Here we have the assignment modes. If your loop has more than 16 slice points, then you can enable the use layers mode, which will force the slicer to put additional slices onto multiple layers on multiple pads. This means that Geist can accurately play back loops with up to 128 slices. The second assignment mode is classify. When classify is enabled, the slicer makes a best guess as to what type of hit each slice is. This slice has been correctly labelled as a kick, as has this one. Snare is correct, and we can reallocate slices that it may have got wrong. With each slice classified, Geist will attempt to intelligently replace slices based on their hit type. This means that if you have a large number of slices but only want to use single layers, Geist can use certain layers again where it thinks are appropriate. Although it's not always easy to predict what Geist will do here, the results can often be interesting. Geist sorts these classified hits when it puts them on the pads. All the kicks are on pads 1 to 4. The snares are on 5 to 8. And the hi-hats are on 9 to 12. Percussion would be on 13 to 16, but we haven't assigned any for this loop.
Once we're finished slicing and we're happy with the results, we simply click Done and Geist will take us to our newly created kit and pattern on whichever engine was currently selected. As soon as we press that Done button, Geist does something quite clever. It saves a file next to the original WAV file, which contains all the slicing information. If I now clear Geist, and then go back, and then go back to the file we just sliced, all our slices are remembered. So all you have to do is slice your favorite files once and you'll never have to do it again. Pretty cool. That concludes our slicing tutorial.